All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Terry Hawkins here. I am also known as the Passive Income Guru. Thank you for coming to our weekly American Bill Money Hangout. And uh, just like every week, guys, we are going to bring something to you that should excite you. It should, it should inspire you. It should motivate you to make a change in your current situation. Okay, we're talking about financially. We have teamed up. Okay, our team is called Right Way Prodigy Marketing, RPM for short. We have teamed up with ABM, American Bill Money, 14-year-old company. 14-year-old company has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. And this opportunity has changed so many lives in a short amount of time. It's changed mine and it's changed others that I've, you know, other people I've brought in. And, and then we have a panel of, of marketers and other people who's also starting to see results in this company. But it's not tonight, this evening, it's not all about how much money have we made. It's about who have we helped, who have we served, and who have, what person lives are being changed as we speak today. So we have an opportunity, you know, with the company, we have a great, uh, we have a great owner. I talked to Paul actually today, this morning. I talked to Paul. He's excited about what we have coming out. He got some new stuff coming out, postcards. Uh, we talked about that this morning, and uh, Paul is excited as I am, and uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm I'm comfortable with ABM, you know, and I'm sure uh, our other people here on the panel are too, and hopefully you are as well because we have something solid, guys. How many times have you been in a, in a company or a program that is here today and gone tomorrow? That's not the case with this particular program. Been out since 2003. And uh, when I see a program like this, along with the support we have, it, it just makes a lot of sense to me. What's interesting, today I, I did some research and I found out that over 70% of people in America, 70% of people in America hate their jobs. They absolutely hate their jobs. And uh, basically, hate, I mean, hate is a, is, that's a strong word, okay? If you hate something, you, you pretty much despise it. You just, it just makes you cringe about thinking about it. And that's what 70%, if you can believe it, 70% of Americans absolutely hate their jobs. And that tells me one thing. That tells me that they are searching. That tells me that they are searching for something else. All right? That tells me that they are searching for something else. And we have an opportunity that can change their, their, their life. We have an opportunity that can put an extra $500 to $1,000 or more in their pocket if they if they feel that they can do it okay that's the key that's the key phrase if they feel if they can do it they have if they have faith that they can do it it can definitely happen so a little bit about my story real quickly i got started on the on, in the online industry actually in the home based business industry back in 2000 in the early 2000s i was a college student and i had i had an epiphany one day this epiphany was do, do people really make money online? I was in a computer lab at, at school doing some homework. Uh, give me one second, guys. One second. I was in a computer lab doing homework, and this thought came to me. This thought came to me. Uh, do people really make money online? Okay, that was the that was the that was my question to myself to actually find out the answer. So I went on a quest to really find out if it was true, and I stumbled into network marketing, okay? A lot of you probably did the same thing. You, 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 network marketing was part of your foundation, or you're probably still in network marketing. But that's, what I, that's where I got my start in, in becoming an entrepreneur. So through the years, about the first two to three years, I struggled. I didn't understand you know, what was happening, why things, were, why things were not going the way I wanted it to go. I was going to all the hotel meetings. I was driving. Oh, God. You know, give me one second, guys. We got some. I thought I muted, muted everybody here. One second. My apologies. Let's see. 
All right. All right. So basically, guys, basically, long story short, I I I was wondering what was going on. Why why is this not happening? Why am I not making the money that I sought out to make? And I had to take a step back because here's the deal with network marketing, traditional network marketing. Most people cannot duplicate what you are doing or what if you if you if you're able to have success and you bring people in, most people are not able to duplicate that. Okay. So the recruiting phase, you know, was painful. It became painful for me. Fast forward to 2008, I decided to bring everything online. I decided instead of me becoming the hunter, I wanted to learn how to become the hunted. So in 2008, I came online to learn an internet marketing game, and the rest is history, okay? It took me about two to three years to find out how to leverage the internet, and it took me probably a total of four years total from the time I got online, four to five years to actually uh, have my breakthrough, okay? And now today in 2017, uh, I, 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 I got to my goal. My goal was to retire at 20, uh, 35 years old, okay? Uh, that was my goal, to retire at 35 years old, okay? So that's enough about me. We have a great opportunity here with American Bill Money. Guys, I don't know if you, well, you should know, but the income that you can make here, the potential income you can make here is life-changing. Okay, every person that you get in, you sign up, is $75 per a pop per month. Okay, residual income is the way to go. If you want to join a home-based business, there's a lot of them out there. And there's a lot of direct sales type businesses like American Bill Money. But you want to find an opportunity, you want to find an opportunity where you can make residual income, not just make the money, then you got to go out and, and do more work to sell so you want to work hard on your business for at least 12 months or more 12 months is if you work in your business consistently 12 months you can be set up very very nice okay very very nice let's just say in a year it took you it took you a year to get 40 people okay it took you a year to, that's over three thousand dollars a month in residual income guys so the power of what we have here is phenomenal I'm excited to be a part of our team. We're helping people at the same time with our with our team build. Okay, it's not it's, you're not in this by yourself. You're in it with a team that cares. You're in it with a team that cares. That's why you are here. All right. So now, what I want to do, I'm going to bring out a young a young lady that I've been knowing for a while, over two years, going on three years now. Who, uh, she hit the ground running uh, not too long ago and is doing very well with this business. Uh, she's going to tell you her story and what ABM American Build Money has done for her so far. Amanda Ray, are you are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you loud and clear. Now we have a, a real quick Amanda. The somebody shared their screen. Actually, let me do this. Okay, cool. We good. All right. So I can hear you loud and clear, Amanda. How you doing today? I'm doing well. How's everyone out there doing? <laughs> How are you, Ontarian? I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. Good to see you. It seems like I ain't seen you in a long time. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, well, just, just to give you a short story, um, I am a single mother of two. Um, I've been online since 2015. Ontarian Hawkins was my first mentor online. And... I was just very infatuated with what he had to offer and how he was so successful and I wanted to do the same. And of course, I didn't listen to all of the instructions that I was given when I first started. So um, I could have literally been way far ahead than where I'm at now if I just listened to my mentor and did the things that was necessary to grow my business. Um, 2015, the entire year, I failed miserably. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I wasn't paying. I thought that I knew what to do. I was trying to reinvent the wheel, and um, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's right. Like these marketers that are out here, they have tried just about everything. So they can tell you they were all telling me the same thing, but I, 
I thought that I knew what was in my head was the right way to go. And for 2015, nothing happened for me. The end of 2016, November, I'll never forget, November of 2016 is when I noticed that I was no longer um, the hunter. I was the hunted. You know, I, I went from one end to the next. And if I would have done that, you know, back in 2015, I would have been further along. But, you know, sometimes we have to live in and we have to learn. But um, I just realized that it's not about how much money you have, because I think a lot of people get into um, network marketing thinking that if they have a lot of money, they can take off and make a ton of money. And it doesn't work that way. I, I keep hearing all of these horror stories about people that spent thousand, five thousand, eight thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, and and they just started and they lost all of their money. And I want people to know it's not about how much money you have; it's also about how true you are to the, your business, right. how much you believe in what you're promoting, and how consistent you are in your business. And I'm telling you this as a person only being in the field for two years. Um, and learning the hard way because, you know, back in 2015, I came into this business with a, a nice chunk of money and that didn't make me a dime. Okay. But I noticed that once I became true to what I was preaching and once I realized that I was committed to what I was doing, people started to notice me and I was the hunted. People were looking for me. People are still looking for me. People call me and they're like, they feel like they knew me. They know me and they knew me for months at a time because they see me on a consistent basis. And I'm, I'm pretty much your average, you know, young woman trying to, you know, make it for my children. So I'm just, I just want to let everybody know that um, I was over the last week, um, I was just thinking about the team. And, you know, how we have almost 700 people now in our uh, Facebook group. And we have so many people that has joined this opportunity in such a short period of time. For those that don't know, I've been in only eight weeks and I've made thousands of dollars so far with this program and it's residual income. I really wanted to let people know that being a sponsor to so many people and, and people looking up to me and wanting, wanting to have some of the same results as me, um, I came up with the mastermind, okay? And I didn't tell Ontario about it because I'm still working on it and I wanted to make it public to everyone. But I want people to know that there are step-by-step -step instructions and in things that you have to do to make this work. And I feel like I want to give that to everyone, exactly step-by-step, -step, taking people through exactly what I do what my life consists of on a daily basis that allows this wheel to run pretty much on autopilot. And it, it, it has, and, it, and to let people know it has nothing to do with money because I, I didn't make a lot of money to actually bring in this, these, these people, but it was about consistency and doing a few things a day that allowed me to generate this income. And it's still up until this day increasing. And it doesn't take a lot of time. Like, I want people to know, I started this with a full-time job, okay? Um, working 10 hours, sometimes 12 hours a day. Am I right, Mr. Hawkins? I will call you, like, yeah. I'm, I'm with the kids, right. and, you know, I'm, I'm working, and, and you know, I, I got to do a 12-hour shift. But just putting in that extra 45 minutes a day to an hour made a drastic change in my life. And that's all that it takes. You know, I have a lot of people. People saying, well, I work long hours. I work long hours too. I've, I've done it. I've worked days where I felt like, you know what? I would get up just an hour early just to do what I needed to do for my online business because I believed in the opportunity. I believe, I knew for a fact that online home-based businesses work. I, you have to know that for a fact. You cannot have any type of skepticism. You, you can't doubt it. You have to know that there are people out there um, doing this and you know i have some people say did you do you tell your family like no i tell people that follow me on facebook and youtube and you know people that come through my funnel those are the people that i connect with and i'm not doing this like you know basically with people that i know like or, you know like that lives close to me or my neighbors or my family it's about connecting with like-minded people and sometimes 
like-minded people is not your brother. Right. It's not your uncle. It's not your mother. It's not your grandfather. And you know what? That's okay. I want people to know that that's okay because sometimes like-minded people are just regular average people that are looking for the same benefits out of life as you. They're looking for the same success out of life as you. And once you realize that, that it's okay for people to call your opportunity a scam, it's okay for people to say no, even if it's the hundredth time you heard no, to just keep pushing forward because that's what's going to break you free from the 97% of people that are working a job and are not successful. That's what separates you from the rest. And I just want people to understand that. It's okay. The only thing that you need to do is not to give up. That should be your main goal. Right. When, it, when it feels hard, when it feels tough, when you have shortcomings, when the baby's running a fever, when your husband is not doing whatever he has to do, when, when the weather's not what you wanted it to be, if you couldn't take that trip that you wanted to take, you still push forward because that's what's going to separate you from the rest. And that's what I want people to really realize today is that you have to be on a mission and not just a mission financially, but also a, a mission to be successful because it's really not all about the money. It's about pushing and knowing what to do to get to the money because we know we're all online because we want to make an income online. We want to make that extra two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 per month. We all know that. That's the ultimate goal. Now, what's going to help you to get there? That's what you really need to be focusing on. Because if you focus on that, the money is going to come. You have to focus on pushing forward through, this is a scam. I can't do this today. I don't have the time. I just worked a 12-hour shift. The, the, the next person that says no, the 20th person that says no, it's about pushing through that that makes you successful in this business. You know, when people say negative things, you know, I have people comment on my videos. You need to get your hair done. Your hair is nappy. So what? That doesn't matter because what matters is, is that you're still pushing forward through all of the negative to have a positive outcome, which is the success and being financially free. So I just want people to know that that's why the, we're up here and we're here to do this for our team. And I've, I've taken some time to put together some very detailed steps to make this work for everyone that's on our team. And if you follow those steps, when we have this mastermind, you will be successful. You will succeed through this. And, you know, if you stay on these calls and just um, stay motivated and, you know, sometimes you have to motivate yourself. You know, there's days when I get up and I'm like, oh, you know, it's raining. It rained for four days. I feel miserable. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't stop me from, what I know I need to do. Right. Stop, don't reinvent the wheel. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just do what other marketers are doing. If you look at all of the top marketers that are in our field that, um, you know, that whole time, just follow what they do. Follow the steps of those who are successful and you will be successful. And that's basically all I wanted to talk about today. Pal. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. <laughs> and um, I thank Mr. Hawkins for in, in, just inviting an online business to me, um, you know, two years ago. And, and me not even through the hard times pushing forward and, and being able to financially free myself. I, I want to thank you, Ontario, for that. I really appreciate that. And um, I'm, I'm looking to take this to the next level. And I'm, I guarantee you I'm going to take a lot of people with me because those that are serious about this, that know that the money is there to be made, they are going to be successful and they're going to financially be free. That's right. Powerful, powerful, Amanda. And you're so welcome, sister. And I am I want to thank you for your continued inspiration. I get inspired too by you and other marketers as well, you see. So we, we all work as a team, as a family. And yeah. uh, sometimes I need, to, I need to see some motivation, you know, to be yeah. honest. So, Mm -hmm. It's powerful, and uh, I, I enjoy what I do in, t in helping people. It's about, and you said something key. You said it's all about sacrifice. 
It's all about sacrifice. I get people that say, hey, you know, I, it's been 30 days. I haven't made any money. It they quit me, in 30 days. Yeah, it took me five years to get a breakthrough. Now, actually, it took more because I had to go through a few years of network marketing to fail. To, 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 to fail. And then I got online. I had, it took me another two years to, to find out what a sales funnel was. And then you had another three years. That's what, seven, eight years to, to really, I could have gave up a long time ago, folks, long time ago. And where would I be if I would have said, you know what, I, I, this stuff is too hard. Yep. Where would I be today? I wouldn't be here in my office <laughs> working full time from home. I wouldn't be here. So mm -hmm. it's all about it's all about your your tenacity. It's all about now. Here's the deal. Remember, I shared with you that seventy percent of people in America. That's astounding numbers. I I didn't know that. Until I looked it up. Seventy percent of people hate their job. They despise their job. And what is that doing to their life? It's stressing them out. And yeah. they carry that negativity over to, you know, you carry that negativity to, 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 your, to your home. Yeah. See? yeah. If you got a family, that negativity can follow you right to your home. And guess what? You're stressing everybody out. So something has to change. Something has to change. Stick with us. Don't give up. And you will see success. Remember, I shared before, Marketing and, and, and growing your business is like is, is compared to the law of physics. Okay, if you have a steel bar, you're trying to bend that bar, it may take you. I mean, the first month, you that bar ain't budged, but guess what? The, the, the second, third, fourth month, that bar has to start moving because of the force that you're applying on that, on that steel bar. The same thing happens in your business. The more pressure you put on your business, the more you are consistent, the more you. You have faith that you can do it. The more you remove negativity out of your life, things have to start happening. We're we're seeing it. We're, we're seeing it every day, uh, man. From average people, who never made a dime online. And that's another thing. You know, it took it took uh, Ontarian five, spot over five years. Everyone is different. It depends on how much time you can put into your business, how committed you are to your business. And if you're doing what your sponsors and the people that are helping you that are successful, if you do what they tell you to do. That's right. And like I said, in 2015, you know, when Ontario first said, Amanda, do the videos, you need to, you need to create a funnel. I didn't do it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to experience that learning curve. You know, right. I didn't want to experience that. And I said to myself, you know what? In 2016, I said, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just, I'm going to just get out of my comfort zone because if I was working a job, I would have to do it to learn. You have to do it, right. Right? right. So I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and I'm going to learn how to do it and I'm going to teach others how to do it, you know, and that's what I've been doing ever since. And it's not that hard. It's not that difficult. You just have to be willing to learn and apply what you learn, you know, and you know, it took me 2016. That was just last year, the end of last year is that that's all it took in four months i was amazed by my results and that's a short period of time and i just never stopped even when i had a week or two where i didn't get paid i just i just kept going and then i would have some weeks where i would get you know i, I remember in one weekend i was paid four thousand dollars mm. in one weekend I've changed. And, I, and you know what i said i can do this yes that's yeah, right that, I can do this. And then there would be some days where I would just get paid $100 or $50, but it all adds up. And when you do the math, if you're getting paid $75 a day compared to the 40 you're getting at your job, and you're doing that in an hour, just an hour time, two hour time, two hour time limit, that's way better than sitting behind a desk for eight hours. I'll take that anytime. All day. All day. You do a video and get paid. 50 bucks every time you post a video or every other day, I'll take that over eight hours sitting behind the desk, oh, you know? Yes. So it's just about building, not giving up. You know, there's some people that's in this business for 30 days and then they're out in 30 days. Yeah. That's not giving you enough time to build a business, mm -hmm. a business guys, a business, not a hobby, a business. That's right. If you went and you opened up a, a restaurant, are you going to quit in 30 days because nobody came to eat your food? Like, just really logically think about it. Think about what you're doing and the choices you're making. Take this seriously. Think about it. If you went and you opened up a, 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 a restaurant 
and no one came to you in 30 days, are you going to close down your restaurant in 30 days? No. Nope. No. No, you're not going to do that. You have to think about this as if you went out there and you spent thousands of dollars on a business. That's what I want people to think about. There you it's go. Very powerful. The mindset change. Yes. Mindset yes. Change. And uh, think, and and I want to piggyback off of that because when you that's 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 compared to a job interview. Okay. Say you go to a job interview, and the person, the, the employer says, you know what, you don't qualify. Are you going to stop right there? You really need a job. Are you going to stop right there? No, a lot of people will go fill out more applications. What about what about your marriage, okay? If you find a spouse and you're going to tell your mate, I'm going to give you 30 days, and if you don't make me happy, <laughs> we get divorced. I mean, it happens. I mean, people get divorced at the snap of a finger. So, guys, it's, it's different situations, but the energy is the same, okay? You have, it takes work. It's going to take dedication. It's going to take faith for this to work, okay? Bottom line. And if you stick with it, something has to give. Promise you that. Promise you that. All right, Amanda. Thanks for that, sister. Powerful. All right. Where did Nifa go? Where is Anifa go? <laughs> Who else we got? We have, let's see. We're missing, we're missing some of the crew to, to, this evening. Hi, Nifa was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Nifa. She's there with you. She's there with you. Gotcha. I have someone I would like to invite to speak. Um, Shana Yard, are you on the call? She's a newbie to online. Shana, are you here? Shana Yard is here. I'm here. Yes, we can hear you. Hey, Hi, Shana. Everyone. How you doing, Shana? I'm doing well. Good. I've been um, just putting mainly my thoughts into the um, group group chat message. Okay. But um, you guys are pretty much hitting it right on the head. I've been just doing as much as I can possible. I know I need to definitely do more videos, but I've been trying to, um, but what I've been doing is just, I passed out over a thousand flyers this past weekend. For American wow. So I know that, and it, it didn't take the hour, it didn't take two hours, it took the whole weekend. Oh. So I just want everybody to know they just have to continue to push forward. Oh. Um, just don't expect it to fall in your lap. Don't expect Amanda or Ontario to do the work for you. And continue to, you gotta do something. You gotta work hard if you want something. Nothing is for free. The lottery, I, I don't know anybody personally that's won it. So. We got to do what we got to do in order to um, actually get paid. That's right. That's right. Thanks for sharing that, Shana. A thousand flyers. Wow. Now, that's, that's, that's dedication right there. That's what it takes. A thousand flyers. Pass that over the weekend. That's, that's phenomenal. And thanks for sharing that, Shana. Really appreciate that. It takes work, guys. It takes work. It takes hard work, dedication. There's no way around it. Okay. Anything in life is not free. It's going to take either your time or your money, but it's all coincides with each other, okay? So it's, that's what we need. See what else we can bring out here. Any new people, any new folks who are, who, if you're experiencing success in this company so far, you've gotten a check or uh, uh, you got more than one check, or if you, you you like what you what you have joined, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and what you've experienced so far. Feel free to come out, or you can just you know you can leave okay. a chat message as well. Can you hear me? Yes. Who who's talking? Who is that? This is this is Hanifa. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I just figured out how to unmute. Sorry. Oh, all right. Well, perfect, Hanifa. Well, thanks for coming on. Tell everybody about yourself and. What what has got you excited about ABM? Hi everyone. Um, what has okay? Well, number one, <laughs> I um, just had a baby a few months ago. I have another child who's ten, and um, I did not want to go back to work because I don't want to put my daughter in childcare. And um, I knew that I had to find something that I can do from home that would help bring in income. But um, I didn't just want to bring in 
you know, a nine to five job kind of income. I wanted the income that I, you know, desired to be unlimited. And um, I reached out to Amanda Ray and <laughs> she told me about this opportunity and it was actually really exciting. Um, this is my first home-based opportunity, my first online marketing um, opportunity. I am completely new to everything and I'm making money. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited about this. Um, I look at myself right now as a beginner, but I see myself in about a few months like Ontario, like Amanda. Um, I'm going to put in the work that I have to to get there, and it's it's doable. It's very doable. I just have to remain consistent, and everyone can achieve that same thing. Um, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I'm just really excited about the opportunity. Um, I'm happy that we have the support that we have, that we work together as a team. Um, I'm happy to meet new people on a daily basis. It's really, that's one of the best parts for me, helping other people, um, you know, get the same opportunity as what we have. That's very exciting. Um, when people text my phone or call me and explain how excited they are, that makes me happy because I either, you know, did their sign up or they called me for a little tip or advice. And I know that, you know, I'm doing something right. Okay. Um, once again, consistency is the key, and I plan on continuing to be consistent, and I know that I have a lot of support around me, so that's that. <laughs> Definitely, Anifa. Well, thank you, sister, and, and you, are, you are an amazing story because you're, you're brand new. You're brand new. You're already experiencing success. What, what is brand something you can say to the brand new person? The brand new person who's coming on with us. What can, what's what's one little nugget you can give to them that's going to help them would, have success? I would say do not give up and don't listen to those people around you who is driving you down. Let them go. <laughs> Let them go. I agree. Definitely agree. Thanks, Anifa. Thank you for that. Powerful You're words. Welcome. Powerful words. All right. Um, anyone else, any other new people or you've had success? Uh oh, we got Big Money Mike. Big Mike, Big Money Mike, can you hear me? He's probably, uh, I'm on the go, but uh, I can hear you. Can you? Can you? All right, my man, Big Money Mike, what's going on? Oh, trying to get that big money, man. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, Mike, well, as you know, glad, you, glad huh? you came on, brother. Hey, tell everybody about yourself and uh, what has ABM, you've been in ABM a short time. What has it done for you so far? Um, well, big money, Mike. I'm calling out of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, been in the industry for a while and I'm um, doing pretty good. Um, when you first brought this to my attention, I'm like, no, nah, man, I, I, I'm not going to do no ABM. I've been seeing that. Right. I've seen, seen that way back when they first started. I just throw them postcards in the trash, you know. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, you said, bro, you might want to look at this, man. Check out our marketing. Check out what the team doing or what have you. Mm -hmm. So um, I decided to take another look at it. And um, I said, okay, this looks pretty good. And decided to move forward with it. So um, I've already received my first check, got another one coming. And what I'm doing is helping my people that come in, you know, to get started, to help them to qualify as quick as possible. And I see this to be um, a pretty good business. You know what I'm saying? With checks in the mail, A-plus rating with the BBB. And, um, you know, just a solid company that's been there for a while. That makes a difference. A lot of people are scared of scams. But right. if you get something solid, you don't have to be afraid of that. And uh, you, like uh, the lady was just saying, don't listen to the naysayers. Just keep plugging, keep plugging, yep. keep dropping them cards in the mail, keep telling people about it, and eventually you'll build a big team. And you're not going to go nowhere after that. That's right. Hey, that's right, brother. And, and Mike, you have had success solely off of uh, direct mail. Like direct mail, you've made quite a bit of money from that, right? Oh, yes. No doubt. I've been doing it for a while. I mainly drop postcards. That's what I do. Um, you know, so I know what it's about for us, you know, making money like that. The people that's afraid to talk to people, you don't even have to talk to people. I mean, if that's what you want to do is just drop postcards in the mail, you can do that. Drop them postcards, keep them going, just be consistent. I remember you guys were speaking about one guy that got involved and he, um, what, dropped like 50 postcards a day. And 
I think his last what ten ninety nine or something like that was like a hundred and sixty thousand oh, dollars. So yes. that's proof right there that you don't have to talk to nobody. And that and that makes sense because the company's been around for a long time. Somebody's using them postcards. Exactly. And I talked to like I said, I talked to Paul this morning. We got some new ones. You, you guys probably all already got the email, but we got some new postcards coming out where it can be personalized with your picture on there and everything. So that's that's going to change the game. Oh wow! Yeah, I can't wait to get them. I didn't get that email, but um, Did you get that email? Oh, yeah. See, I'm no, I didn't get that one. That's okay. Okay, I'm yeah. picking it out of the bag now. But you're going to get it. You're going to okay, get. I talked great. to Paul this morning. You can personalize your 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 your, your postcard with that with your picture on there. That's going to personalize it. And guess what, guy? This is this is psychology here. When this per when a person receives that type of postcard in the mail, they see your picture, they see your name. What's the next thing they're going to do? They probably going to go to Facebook or more than likely YouTube and, so, and search for your name. What if I'm just I'm just hypothetical? You don't have to do videos if you don't want to. But what if they search your name on YouTube and they find you talking to them? How 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 would that close your pro? You think that'll get you higher conversions if that was the case, along with the personalization of the card? I'm just I'm just making a guess. I'm I'm thinking it will. What do you think, no Big Man? No doubt. People um you know, like and trust, they right. gives you a chance to get personal with them. You know what I'm saying? It's so, like, okay, this is just not a system. These are real people. Yes. With old-fashioned marketing. I mean, people like that old-fashioned marketing. I mean, it's a lot of new stuff that's going on, but that old-fashioned marketing, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. That's right, brother. I can't wait to see them postcards. I got to go, bro. All but, right. All right, big buddy. Thanks, glad brother. I'm to come in and, and, and put my little two cents in or what have you. We appreciate you. All right. All right, now. All right. Let's see who else we got here. I'm looking in the, looking in the line, looking in this. Anybody else? Want to come out and say something or what you've experienced with ABM so far? Alexis, are you there, Alexis? Alexis. I'm here, y'all. What's going on, Miss Morell? Hey, I'm in here. I'm in here cooking. Can you see? Hey, what you cooking? Hey, bring me, yeah. I'm, just, some, me I'm just making a I'm just making a solid, y'all. Nothing big, but <laughs> um I will say this, um, from Ontarian and Amanda, you guys are great mentors. I'm following in all of you footsteps. Like I stepped out, started making, and I will say this, YouTube works. Like I, people have literally been calling my phone I'm and I'm just in amazement. And you know, they're telling me their stories. Like I had this one guy call, like I'm retired. And he told me how much he made and he got real personal. Yep. And he was like, I want to supplement my income. Mind you, as Amanda and I, I remember on Tiering, you said that you're, you had like maybe one family member, but I don't think like family and friends, because some people just don't get it. So I don't even worry about it. I just keep, right. keep connected to the group, keep uh, making videos, keep seeing what everybody else is doing. Like Amanda said, stay connected. And then I'm going to just keep moving forward. I know this works. And I just think about like next year, this time that we all will be great. And I just really want to help people get outside of the nine to five job mentality. Like I was talking to this guy yesterday and he was like, I make $12 and 50 cents an hour and I'm 36 years old. I'm a grown man making $12. So we exchanged information and I, you know, I told him about what I'm doing and then, you know, I go from there. I don't worry about, I just, just like coach Darren said, you tell and don't sell. I'll tell you, but I'm going to be successful regardless because we have a great team. So I'm just excited Powerful. for everybody. Powerful, Alexis. Thanks for those words of wisdom. And uh, videos are amazing, right? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you don't have to be a professional speaker to be a video. Okay? One second. One second. You don't have to be a professional uh, speaker, okay, to be on video. I'm not a professional speaker by any means. There's times I'll be stuttering. I'm even on my, on, on my videos, I've even answered my cell phone, drinking water. Uh, I, I haven't eaten anything yet, but that's probably coming. I mean, people are looking to connect with real people. I don't wear suit and tie. You know, I got a regular T-shirt on. 
you know, sometimes not always shave. I mean, people like to connect with real people, authentic people, okay? And that's the key. In the lectures you're doing, your videos, people are calling you. The more videos you do, the more people are going to call you and reach out to you. That's just the nature of it. People, YouTube is where it's at. If you, if you can get out of that little comfort zone just for a little bit, you start doing one video, you do two, and then it's down the line you're going to have 20 videos. It's going to be, then you're going to become natural. It's, it's going to change your life, okay? Just get on camera, tell your story. People, at least one person in this world is going to relate to you, okay? At least. That's the least of it. But there's more, but it's, that's the least, okay? So thanks for sharing that, Alex. It's very powerful. I'm looking at the chat here. Uh, let's see. So what we're going to do now, guys, if, it's, if there's no one else that has a testimony, you want to come out and say a little testimonial you've experienced with ABM so far or with our team. Oh, P.S. and by the way, uh, Anifa and Amanda, they are pretty much our, our call team, call center team as well. They're taking all the emails, all the phone calls, people who's ready to join. So we have a back-end team that's helping people, helping your people get signed up, get in place, helping people get paid, get qualified on the back end. So just know that you have a great team. I, I love these women. They, they, they work so hard for us on the back end, and I'm, a, I'm very appreciative of that. So just know you're in good hands, all right? So anyone else um, have any questions or do you want to have a, uh, or a testimonial for someone else? If you want that, you can just, all you got to do is unmute yourself. If not, I'm, I'm going to go to the, uh, to the chat over here to see if anyone has any questions, okay? Uh, Hi, it's Shane again. I had a question cool. for um, Big Money Mike about how many um, <clears throat> how many cards he was actually sending out with the lead that American Bill Money was um, provide with the package. Okay, so I think Big Money Mike dropped, I think he had to go. So this is what I'm gonna do. That's a great question. Uh, let me share my screen real quick, okay? Wait one second. All right, you guys, you guys see my screen? Yeah. Okay, let me do something real quick. I'm going to give everyone a scenario here. Everyone a scenario. Because postcards do work, okay? They do work. Just like any other marketing See, in the, in the online space, in the online space, what's happening is we are doing videos, we're on Facebook, you know, we have our sales funnels and everything like that. So we're exposing people. There's people right now who are being exposed to ABM, okay? But does everybody join? No. Why? Because it's a, it is numbers, and we're qualifying people at the same time. So the postcards, let's just say... I'm going to always go off a thousand, okay? Let's just say you got a thousand postcards of which you can order from the company at a very great price, by the way, okay? 1,000 postcards. We have lead sources. We do have lead sources, other lead sources outside of ABM if you decide to, you know, get outside of ABM for lead source. You want to my, my thing is you want to you want to diversify your lead sources okay diversify and see which one is converting better but we I have a particular lead source a couple of them that uh, I'm about to start tapping into okay I'm about to go crazy real crazy with the offline method here starting in the next couple of weeks so I'm, I'm gonna I'm getting a thousand okay and my goal is to close one to two percent. Okay, one to two percent. That's pretty good through the mail. Now you got to take it into consideration. Most people, when they get those type of mail, that, that type of mail, postcards or anything, they throw a lot of them. They're busy. They throw it by the wayside. They may pick it up later. So you got to take that into context as well. The one per two, the one to two percent here that I'm talking about are those people who are paying attention immediately. Okay. Now on the back end, on the back end, you may have another one to two percent who join. 
but maybe a month or two or more down the line. But these are people that, that in my prediction, I am looking to close immediately. They, they get the postcard or the, or the cover letter with the postcard, and they, they look at it, they take action, they call the number, and they, they sign up. So let's just say you do 1%, okay? That's 10, that's 10 signups. That equals $750 a month. Powerful, okay? 2%, that's 20 people. That's $1,500 a month. Now, what you do with that, you just turn around and you reinvest back into your business and uh, you, you do the cycle again. So the cost of this, I believe, is going to, your, your most, the, the most cost is going to be the postage because we can get these materials, the 1,000 postcards, even cover letters at a cheap, cheap rate at ABM. Didn't know, you, didn't know if you guys knew that. But we have great rates at American Bill Money as far as post, as far as postcards, cover letters, leads, and all that. Your biggest cost is going to be the postage. Okay, so make sure you're budgeting for your business. Set aside some money every month to grow your business. All right. So these are these are these are kind of I'm, I'm not going to say guaranteed numbers, but these are accurate numbers. Okay, these are accurate numbers from a thousand a thousand mailings okay from a thousand mailings so hopefully that did I answer your question Shana did that do you all right all right okay I I did a video on this earlier so I I, I kind of talked about this as well but this is this is what I'm expecting this is what I'm expecting and, and you know what here's the deal this is, and here's the psychology of behind consistency. And maybe it's not stubbornness. I'm not stubborn, but I'm, 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 I'm competitive, <laughs> okay? I don't like to lose. And my, my, my girl, she always say, boy, you're so competitive. And let me let you guys in on something. Don't laugh at me now. On Father's Day, we took her, her, we took her dad out to eat. Actually, we went bowling first, and we took them out to eat afterwards. But me being competitive with the bowling and everything, I tried. I know this probably won't make sense. I tried to let them win. We played about three games. We all three. I, 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 beat, my, I beat my girl all the time. That's no, that's, but he had told me before he came to, to, to play that day, he had said he had his own bowling ball. He used to bowl in leagues and everything. So I'm thinking in my mind, oh, he must be good. He must, he must know how to do the curve ball and everything. So I, I, I had to get my A game on. So I ended up beating them all three games on Father's Day, and, and now I feel bad. It's the competitive nature. I, 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 I want to win. And see, here's, and here's the punchline when I, why I said that. A thousand postcards. If I don't get one or two percent, guess what? I'm competitive. I'm gonna go for another. Th I'm gonna do it until I get consistent one to two percent, and that should be your motivation. That should be your mindset as well. Do not quit until you reach success. Be competitive enough to reach success. That you gonna you're not gonna stop until something happens, and that's always been my mindset, and that's that's you know that's why I'm here today speaking to you because of I did not quit. I was consistent, okay? So let me stop sharing my screen. Uh, let's see. Actually, go back here. Hold on one second, guys. Forget how to stop sharing the video. Because we got a question, had a question. Somebody come in with a question. So I'll just go to chat. Tell you what, I'll just go to the chat. All right. Shana, okay, glad, glad that helped you out. Alnisa, what about making copies of the postcards? Do we have to order them from ABM only. 
Yeah, I will go with, uh, yes, Anissa, I will go through ABM because what, what happens is you have to get those approved. Uh, before you make cars of your own, I will go with ABM. Okay, you can talk to Paul. Maybe you can do a design or something and, and show it to Paul. But you want to go through them um, first. Okay, but but don't don't reinvent the wheel. Okay, remember we're getting our own postcards. Going you're going to be able to personalize and have your own picture on there and everything. So it's best to probably go through the company because your prices are going to be great as well. Okay, it's going to be great. Hopefully that answers your Ontario? question. Ontario? Yes. If I can just step in and say something. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, I actually asked Paul about that, um, what Almisa just asked. And one thing that he is definitely against is us um, pretty much remaking the postcard. And if he finds out that anyone is doing that, you are going to be out of the program. Okay. 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 So it's best to definitely go through him. And um, something like a cover letter, um, you know, just getting it approved by him first. Right. He's completely with that, but the postcard is an absolute no go. Oh, glad I asked that question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good, good question on that, Alisa. Good question. All right, thank you. Uh huh. All right, anybody else got a? Uh, we're going to probably we're ended we're in this hangout in a, exactly seven minutes, guys. So seven minutes to five o'clock central right now. Uh, any more questions? Let me look up at the chat here. Renee Franklin, you said, Renee Franklin asked, are they giving us the same leads? Uh, Renee, are you talking about American bill money? Or uh, if you can clarify that question for me, I can, that way I can answer you better. Um, there's other lead sources out there. Okay, you're going to get leads every month with American Bill Money in your package, but there's other lead sources in in the direct mail order business out there. All right, that you can tap into as well. Are we all getting the same leads? No. Well, here, so we're not all getting the same leads when it comes to American Bill Money. No, we're all getting different leads. We're all getting different leads. All right. Shana, yeah, 10, 10 signups is your goal. That's a great goal every month. So set a goal too, guys. If you mail out a certain amount of postcards, set yourself a goal. Like I just showed in the, in the drawing board, set you a goal. You want to sign up five, an extra five people, 10 people, whatever, and, and keep pushing until that happens, okay? All right, Renee, you're welcome. Good question. Good question. All right, anybody else got any questions? Anybody else got any questions? Uh, we got about, all right. All right, congratulations on it, Renee. You're so welcome. Anybody else uh, wanna come out and say say something or don't be shy, guys. We're all a big family here. Don't be shy. All right. Well, if there is no more questions, we can go ahead and end. All right. We got some coming in here. Okay, Renee. Renee, you said how long before you get in the rotator? Now, we don't have a rotator, Renee. Um, we're, we're, this is a complete team build. So we're, we're just, we're building down, if that makes sense. Um, I would reach out to, if you, if you send an email to rpmleaders at gmail.com, uh, they will make sure to take care of you, to get you on the spreadsheet, so to speak. I think that's what you're asking there. All right. Eugene, what about the co-op advertisement? Can you elaborate? Okay, the co-op. So Amanda Ray, you still there? Amanda Ray, she probably stepped off. Hey, hey, Anifa. Amanda's 
Oh, man, it's back. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, to... one, I'm one aligned with Paul, the owner of ABM. So, oh, all right. I'm one aligned with Paul. He yeah, said, oh, I said hello. Yeah, Paul, say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Paul? Uh, so, Hanifa, are you familiar with the, with the co op, the solo ad co op? No, it's not Hanifa. What was that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's Ebene, Amanda's little sister. Hey, what's going on? Are you in the program too? No, not yet, Mr. Hawkins. Oh, well, we need, we need you to get in. <laughs> soon I'll be in there soon. <laughs> Working on it. All right. I've, I've, All I've, heard, right. I've met you before over the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember. Oh, it's been a while then, huh? Yeah, it has. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we're looking forward to having you. Yeah, same here. Good, good hands with with uh, with Amanda and everyone, so you're good. Yeah, she took me right on her wing very soon. Good, good. <laughs> all right, uh, Eugene. I'm, let me ask you a question, Eugene. So, the co-op advertising. Um, my good friend Amanda Ray, she heads that up. Now, what happens is. To be successful in co-op advertising, you have to have a sales funnel, okay? Uh, a way to collect leads. What happens is Amanda goes out and purchases traffic from a solo ad vendor, and that solo ad vendor sends traffic to the funnels, okay? I, I don't know if she has it set up on a rotator. I'm not for sure, okay? So that's, this is how I would do it. Set, it up on, set your links up on a rotator and distribute the traffic like that. That way you're starting to get leads. Now, a successful campaign, a successful campaign is a campaign that gets you a great amount of leads. It's not so much the sales initially when it comes to co-op solo ad advertising. It's it's the lead, it's the it's 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 the traffic to lead conversions is what makes it successful. Because what happens, a lot of people they don't make a purchase, they don't make a decision. The first time, the first go around, it usually takes about seven times. This is this is marketing psychology. It takes about seven times before somebody sees something or advertises before they make a decision. How many times have you seen a Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial before you went up and got some some, some KFC? Same same aspect. The commercials come on back to back, so so they can entice you, so to speak, to go in and buy their stuff. Same thing with solo ads. Now. If you don't get sales your first your first go around, don't don't despair, don't don't worry. It has to. There's a process, okay. And hopefully, in your sales funnel, you have a follow up process, follow up email series going on to keep uh, your your prospect informed and to build that relationship, okay. So hopefully, that answers your question, Eugene. All right. I'm going to answer one more question, guys. It's, it's five o'clock on the dot. Uh, Donna Patterson, can you use your follow-up letters? For instance, for instance, send out cards, then send out. Uh, Donna, I'm trying to. Yes, Donna, you you can use your own follow-up letters because I have my own follow-up email series. Um, sh I think sure. So if you so are you a part of if you're a part of send that cars the company, are you saying are you asking can you send those cars out to people, um, like a thank you card or something like that, Donna? Hopefully I'm understanding your the second part of your question. All right, Shalonda. All right, what was your what was Shalonda's question? Oh, it looked like he got answered. You said she said thank you. All right, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on to today's uh, hangout with American Bill Money. It was a joy to be with you again. We will do this again next Wednesday, same time, four p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, and be sure to invite some of your loved ones if you want to the to this hangout so they can see what is going on with us in this company. So what I would have you to do now is to get back to the person that invited you to this hangout, get their information so that you can get started right away. 
and they will be happy to take care of you, all right? Also, if you're watching on YouTube, the information to join this wonderful opportunity is gonna be below this video. So make sure that you follow the instructions below this video exactly as you see it. If you have any questions about the information below this video, make sure you reach out to the person. Usually they should, they should leave their phone number. If not, you can call the call center also that we have in New York with Amanda Ray, Anifa, and her team, okay? So guys, thanks for coming on. Again, I'm Terry and Hawkins here, the Passive Income Guru. Looking forward to helping you succeed, helping you in, to increase financially. God bless. We'll talk to you guys next week. Take care.